Andrew, it's wonderful to have you with us. It's been great to see the journey that you've been on this year and having you as part of this membership. Just to kick us off, can you just introduce yourself, your name, your role and your kind of level of experience, please? Yeah. Hi, I'm Andrew Cowan. I'm head of commercial for a company called Sablono, which is a construction delivery platform. I lead the sales push in, in the UK. And prior to that, I've got uh, a number of years in leadership roles uh, for much bigger companies than, than the startup that I'm with now. Awesome. And so what was your original reason that you decided to join the Sales Confidence membership? I'd recently joined Supply and I've been moved into this leadership role. Um, whilst I've got a lot of experience working for much larger um, organisations within the construction SaaS space, I was relatively inexperienced working for a startup um, size kind of organization like Sablono. I wanted to build a network of people that have been in my position before and try and learn from some of their experience because I could see from some of the conferences that I've been to in the past that there was a really tight knit group that I wanted to be part of. And that's certainly been happening for me. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. What was your world like? It's like a before and after. What, what was your world like as an individual leader before? Uh, joining sales confidence versus what's the world like now because you're part of something like this yeah I think before I think really my lack of experience working for a startup size organization was meaning it was quite daunting and there were quite a few times in the first few months where I could have really done with the support that I'm receiving now from my peers and from the peer groups and it was actually starting to affect my confidence in whether I could do it and I was looking in the mirror some days thinking is this is this for me? And now as part of the sales confidence membership, that's turned things around because I'm finding there are so many more like-minded people out there that have similar sort of worries and fears as I did at the time and have become through those. And I've been able to learn from some of those, even in the time that I've been with the membership already. Amazing. That's no, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your honesty and sharing that. And we want to encourage that. What would you say is your favorite part of the membership? The networking and the peer group discussions, I just said a moment ago, I'm learning so much from these like minded people and I've been able to take some tangible ideas and thoughts that other people have shared, maybe on somebody else's problem, but I've been able to pick up from those and use them to help myself and also to help my team moving forward. And it's made such a massive difference to me. Amazing. If you had to describe like in one word, the feeling of what it means to be part of this, what word comes to mind? family that's a big one i haven't come across that one <laughs> there you go yeah so i think it's definitely a wider family of peer of peers right and there's and people your family are always there to no matter what to offer you some advice if you need it or support you if you need it or pick you up when you need to be picked up or you're there to help pick them up when they need that kind of help and yeah i you definitely get the feeling that's what you're getting from sales confidence. That's really cool. That's super heartening. It's nice that I think there's a shared group of people, yeah. that, as you say, that want to see each other do well, right? Yeah. And you want to encourage each other. And that's what you're pulling on, which is really cool. Like what like quantifiable value or ROI have you experienced? Like how has it impacted your strategy or approach mm. to business from what you've learned? Yeah, I think it's hard to put a value on what I've experienced so far. That's not a negative. So there have been so many situations where previously I, I may have, in my current uh, company, lacked the confidence in a certain situation. But after I catch up with a peer or the peer group that, that I'm part of, I actually start to feel really confident in taking a decision or having a conversation that I might not have had in the past. And that's probably as cheesy as it sounds, priceless. You can't, I don't know what value you've got on that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, that's super cool. Thank you for sharing. And, and you, you have touched on this a few times, but if you had to talk about the impact it's just had on you as an individual in either kind of your day-to-day -day life or your career, yeah. like, where's the impact been for you? My confidence. Sales confidence does what it says on the tin. <laughs> so yeah, definitely around my confidence in some of the decision making that, that I've had to make over the last few months and just really how I'm managing my day to day life in what's well, still quite a, essentially a new role in the grander scheme of things. Gotcha. Great. OK, a couple more questions. What's something that you found unexpected since joining that that you've discovered or yeah. got out of uh, the experience? Yeah, I didn't expect that there would be so many people out there just like me with the same sort of need to connect to other sales leaders and that were probably or some people were feeling quite alone prior to joining themselves. I felt 
at some points that I was just on my on my own. And then when you go and sit around a table with a group of like minded people, you find out you've got very similar challenges um, and goals that you want to achieve. And um, I didn't expect everybody to be so similar in that respect. That's great. So it's like finding your tribe, and yeah. finding a group of people that face day to day what you're going through. And it's yeah. very relatable, which is cool. Is there some specific like wins or successes or outcomes where you like you took something from a conversation or you, you took something from a learning and you've been able to apply it? In one particular one, we discussed that we'd only hired one SDR for my business. And I think everyone was quite shocked that we'd done that. And people had come out and said, you, you, you need to have more than one. But it was quite a, a large group discussion about this because there were a number of reasons why we should have just gone for more than just one at the time. And yeah, we have changed change things slightly in in that respect and we started to build that out a little bit more so that we've not just got one person on the phones day in day out sat at home on, on their own and we haven't really thought about that before I hadn't really thought about that kind of thing until I mentioned it in it was a peer group conversation that we had and the shock on everyone's face made me think oh okay then maybe we need to do something about this which we have done great cool uh, all right last question hopefully People have watched this and enjoyed hearing about your experiences. Yeah. Um, but if they're still like at this point, they've had a conversation with me or someone in the sales confidence team, they've heard the good stuff that you've got to say, but they're still a little bit on the fence. What, what would you say to that person? Just do it. Just do it. You never know until you try. I think that person would be pleasantly surprised at just how many people in that room are in the same situation. And you're truly never alone as part of the membership. And you should just get on and just crack on and do it. Amazing. Andrew, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to have you involved. I appreciate you sharing your experiences and looking <laughs> forward to hanging out soon. Yeah, can't wait. See you have, soon. Have a great weekend. Cheers, mate. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.